So today we're talking about alternative power sources for your servos. As you've probably noticed, uh, when you try to power a servo off of the microcontroller's 5 volt ports, uh, it's just simply not enough power to be able to make your servo actually work, and you're probably browning on your microcontroller. Uh, and most of your projects probably need multiple servo power sources. So this little board here, the Go Build a Servo Power Delivery Board, is an awesome little tool that will help you um, power up to eight different servos uh, from an alternative power source. Uh, and this video will show you how you can actually wire these up to uh, any standard microcontroller, be it a uh, Metro board from Adafruit or an Arduino. So let's get started. So looking at the board, you've got two separate sides of servo pins here. It doesn't actually matter which side you plug the servo into because the signal pins are tied to each other and the uh, uh, power and ground pins are tied to each other. So they can both be inputs and outputs. You supply power via an XT30 rail um, connector down here. Uh, and then whatever voltage you supply to this board is actually going to put the voltage out to the servos. So if you supply 6 volts here, you're going to get 6 volts out to your servos. If you apply 9 volts here, you get 9 volts out to your servos. Um, that can be a problem because most servos like to run between 5 to 7.5 volts. Um, so what I've done is I've made this little unit here with a UBEC inside. And what UBEC does is it sanitizes any power input and it sanitizes up to 6 volts so that I'm never going to blow any of my servos. If you want to know how to make one of these, I've got a video in the description down below. So I've got two different ways that I can power this. I've got a 9 volt power source via barrel jack. And I've also got a large 12 volt battery source, so I'll show you how to do that. So first things first, let's actually go ahead and wire one of these up. Now wiring up is pretty simple. I'm going to just show you a couple positional servo examples today. So again, you can choose either side. I'm going to choose to plug my servos into this side. You notice that the far pin is ground, power, and then signal. And then it's reversed on the other side, signal, power, and ground. So let's grab a positional servo here and let's plug it in on pin number one here. Again, the number does not matter. The number is simply that it corresponds to the opposite side. So once I've got this side in, I'll plug in my battery pack. And then I'm going to wire this to my microcontroller itself and make sure that I power my microcontroller down first. And then wiring is super easy for this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab signal from number one. I'm going to wire it over to whichever pin I currently have my servo outputting to. I have mine set to D0 right now. And then I need to get a ground wire from the ground side, which is the last pin here, over to my shared ground. Does not matter what ground you choose on your board, just as long as you get it back to ground. So I'm going to go ahead and power this up, power up my microcontroller. I'm going to power up my board here. And now you notice that my servo is now chooching around. Now the cool thing about this Go build a board, and what I really like about it is inside the board, there are these little switches here. And I'm going to power this down so that we can see. I'll unplug this. So there's these little switches inside. And what these allow you to do is it actually allows you to share outputs across. So for instance, if I flick on switch number one, it's actually going to tie the channels one and two together. So I can actually use one digital port on my microcontroller and I'll actually control two servos. So let's do that. I'm going to grab switch number one here and I'm going to flick it over to on. So now channels one and two are shared. So if we wire up two servos here, we should have two servos moving with our power. Now, these switches ring true for both positions. Um, now, you'll probably notice that there's eight ports and then there's eight switches. So if each one ties into the one below, I mean, you can daisy chain these all you want. So if I were to turn on switch one and two, that would mean that ports one, two, and three are now tied together. So it saves you a lot of Y harnessing um, for your servos, which is great. Now, this last one here is port number eight. Now, obviously, there's nothing that eight can share. So flicking on 8 actually turns on and off this little blue LED. So 
So if I were to power this back up and flick it on, eight is what controls this LED to turn on and off. So I hope that helped you out with uh, providing some alternate power sources for your servos. Uh, and uh, maybe that convinced you to pick up the uh, servo, um, the Go Build a Servo Board. I think it's a great little tool for powering up to eight servos. Uh, and best of luck on your robotics project.